that's locked down for thousands and thousands of years. All tumbuna blow you me, all in blow you me. You me all tumbuna must all in blow future generation blow you me. Why now you give him nothing, nothing ego? Benefits blow this locked down, a diwa, a salt water must come, blow people blow you me. That is the reason why we cancel SABL. Enough of land grabbing in the country. Enough of land grabbing. Where? Suppose over the ground, one or two plumbantas only on him. Where is the rest of the people going to go? Our population is growing today. Every four years, we plug out new plow beginning in one million. Every four years. Look, country blow you. All that's like beginning in Bay Goway. All beginning here need him ground. Only need him services. Only need him education. Only need him health care. Only need him all road. Only need him airport. That is what this government is providing and trying to provide. The Papua New Guinea Forest Authority has made a move to start assessing the status of the country's forest. It is an attempt that will lay down the basis which will ultimately create pathways for sustainable forest management. The PNGFA's offices are currently in the Highlands region to conduct the multi-purpose National Forest Inventory, the first for PNG. The assessment will continue in the other regions after the completion of the Highlands lag. Dr. Sawan reports. Two teams from the Forest Authority are currently in the Bena and Hanganofi areas of the Eastern Highlands province respectively. They are there to conduct this multi-purpose national forest inventory. The teams comprise officers from the PNGFA headquarters, Forest Research Institute, staff from the Eastern Highlands and Simbul provinces, as well as officers from the Binatang Research Institute in Medeng. Forest inventory is the systematic collection of data on the forest resources within a given area. It allows assessment of the current status and lays the ground for analysis and planning, creating a basis for sustainable forest management. This assessment will be the first for Papua New Guinea, and it makes PNG the second or third country in the world to undertake such activity. According to PNGFA's coordinator of the Multipurpose National Forest Inventory, Goodwill Amos, Eastern Highlands is a good choice to begin this assessment because it is the centre of the country. Yeah, basically, uh, the team will be looking at the upper plants, uh, the lower plants, uh, which is the uh, shrubs and uh, uh, weeds and, uh, and also looking at the soils and the litter. And then like I mentioned earlier, we'll also look at, looking at the, the biodiversity. Amos says they will be looking at assessing two clusters in the Eastern Highlands and another two in the Western Highlands after that. Altogether, they have about 1,000 clusters to cover in the country and they are looking at completing these assessments by the end of 2020. Uh, but depending on uh, resources, both finance and manpower, uh, we might do uh, 400 to 500 uh, clusters before the end of uh, 2020. So, okay. so we move on. Uh, if we finish the islands region, we move to Momase. And then from Mamasa go to Islands region, and then the last one will be uh, the southern region, hopefully uh, in the beginning of, uh, or the middle of uh, 2020. Dr. Sawan, NBC National News, Port Mosby.